G Body How To Remove Your Quarter Glass. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Brian here at Classic G Body Garage, and with you today is another G Body How To, and this one involves removing your rear quarter glass. Now this process is going to be the same with any 81 through 88 G body Cutlass, Regal, Monte Carlo, Grand Prix, hardtop or vinyl top. Now meaning hardtop, vinyl top delete. And of course vinyl top cars the process is going to be exactly the same. Now this quarter glass is held in two different ways. All right. It is held in with studs and bolts. Yes, glass is held on with bolts on the back side. This is not going to be a matter of taking a flathead screwdriver and prying this chrome trim off and pulling it away because you're going to break that chrome trim that really is only plastic. All right, now this is plastic surrounded by a framework that has studs that goes through the body and then bolts on the back side. Now the second way it's held in is by butyl window tape. It is sealed all the way around. So once you get the bolts out, the glass is simply not going to fall out. You're going to have to push it out gently and loosen up that gooey uh, window tape that's in there. So first thing to do is you're going to want to start removing all of your interior panels. To get to the glass now this is what the bolts look like on the inside there you go so those are the bolts so several of them all the way around there's another one get a good look at it there then you can see all the gooey substance that lines the glass now that is the, the glue that seals the glass to the body. All right, so now as far as removing your, your body panels go, you're going to start by removing the sill plate. Of course, this car is already disassembled. The aluminum sill plate that lines the rocker panel. The next thing you're going to do is remove the B pillar that runs lengthwise here, held on by three screws. One, two, three. Sometimes have one at the bottom here if someone decides to drill a hole and put one in, but I know 78 to 80 has the holes down there but this process is different on 78 to 80 this only qualifies to 81 through 88 all right next you're going to want to remove the upper uh, sail panel and you need to remove the seat belt torx bolt t50 is the size remove the seat belt once that drops down remove the sail panel phillips screw comes out and then the next thing you do is you grab your wrench socket looks like a uh, potentially a, a 10 millimeter so let me go ahead and start to remove all of those bolts all right now I have all 10 millimeter bolts removed there are five of them throughout the exterior or the border of the window so now the next thing you do is you go ahead and you gently start pushing on the glass around the borders you can hear that popping that's the glue starting to release. Of course, you're going to want to hold both sides. Push evenly as possible. You don't want to twist the glass or anything like that. Hold on both sides, and you can see the glue. It's all a stringy mess. Make sure you don't drop the glass. And go ahead and remove it. All the nastiness that comes with it. All right, so there you go. The glass is out and you can see what type of mess you get when you release that glue, which is the butyl seal. And basically, I mean, it does come off. You kind of just roll it off. It does get kind of gooey. If it's really hot, it might turn into like a greasy type substance. But you can see it does come off. So there you guys go. Got the glass sitting here. And it is as easy as that. Now, as far as reinstallation goes, you can buy the butyl glass tape at your local Nap Auto Parts store. That's where I have purchased it. So it comes in a roll, it looks like a rope. Just put a, a bead of it around here, set your glass in, and then gently tighten those uh, five bolts that are on there. Obviously do not over tighten them because you don't wanna risk 
shattering the glass. All right, guys. Well, there you go. That's how you remove the quarter glass on any 81 through 88 G body. And like I said, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button below. Make sure you join the Classic G Body Garage Facebook page below. The link is in the description below. And that is it, guys. All right, until the next Classic G Body Garage video, keep those G bodies rolling.